Michael, welcome. What do you mean by patient? Thank you, Kelly. Uh, it's great to be with you, by the way. Uh, well, I mean, be patient and, and apply your discipline. Uh, this is an emotional time. Markets feel emotional. We're emotional about the election. We're worried about the coronavirus. As you look at uh, the indexes today, the Dow, the S&P, and NASDAQ, all are down about the same equally, about 3%, which means to me that money's coming out pretty equally across the board. If I go back to September the 2nd, when the market was pretty much at a high, we're down over 8% right now. So if you're going to buy pullbacks, if you're going to be disciplined, if you can be a bit patient and say, I'm going to look for solid balance sheets, I'm going to look for earnings growth, I'm going to look for returns on equity, identify those companies, and when they hit your triggers, I think that there's an opportunity to add to things that perhaps had gotten away from you. I think there's also an opportunity right. uh, in a disciplined way to add to some other names that have, haven't bounced back yet. Give us, Michael, the names, if you could, before we have to go. Okay, so a number of the tech stocks have gotten away, and they really are coming back pretty strongly, and that may continue. St things, uh, things like uh, Valmont, for instance, which is a smaller but infrastructure company that's going to benefit from infrastructure spending if we have another stimulus bill. It certainly looks, Kelly, like if we have a blue wave in this election, we're going to get more stimulus than perhaps has been discussed so far. That should be good for markets, and that should mean the path of least resistance for stocks coming into a new administration will likely be higher. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. We appreciate it, Michael Farr, giving us some specificity and Thanks, also Kelly. some you know, encouragement, I would say, at a time like this. Michael Farr of Farr Miller in Washington. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.